Thank you, Brian. The month of November is National Entrepreneurship Month, and one Piedmont Triad entrepreneur is taking his career and helping others take theirs into new heights. He calls himself a serial entrepreneur with his hand in many projects spanning from real estate to aircraft. He's joining us live now. I'd like to welcome Max Maxwell. He is joining us from Look Up Aviation in Winston-Salem. It looks super cool. And Max, you actually have your own custom plane there. Is that right? Yeah, so behind me is a custom plane uh, called the Sling uh, TSI that was built in South Africa. Oh my goodness. And this plane here is something that, this plane is something that we actually here at Look Up Aviation that we actually build, sell and build here right in the old Piedmont Airlines hangar. I was wondering where it was located. So Max, you're not just building planes, you're also a pilot, you're a real estate investor, and you are the only African American agent in the history of professional bull riders. How do you do it all? How remarkable. <laughs> Well, a, a lot of my hobbies end up turning into businesses, and the number one thing about any business is you got to be able to solve problems. And general aviation is a passion of mine, also real estate, and so we decided to combine a lot of those things together and create several companies. But look up aviation. What we do here is we're going to get more people into aviation. We teach people how to fly. We build custom aircraft, and you could you could think of the Sling TSI is like customizing a Tesla. Everything from the color, the stitching, every single thing about the plane is customized to you and it's one of the most advanced general aviation aircraft on the market. Max, can you show us around a little bit? Can you show us kind of a walk and talk inside there for us this morning? Sure. So. Basically, this is this is the Sling TSI. It's a pretty advanced plane. It's more advanced than most of the planes that you actually fly on commercially with autopilot and uh, IFR, which is a lot of nerd talk when it comes to pilot. <laughs> and so also here, we actually build the plane. So I can take you over here to wow. what is uh, actually a gas tank on a plane. So this is how all planes, no matter whether it's commercial or gener general aviation, they all have hands on them. People actually build these planes from scratch. And here, we've been open for um, about nine months now and this is a this is a gas tank that goes on an actual sling TSI that we're going to be building and should be done in the next six to seven months. Wow how awesome and innovative is that. Max what kind of joy does this work bring you? I mean do you just light up when you go into that um, look up aviation building? I mean what do you love about it the most? What I love about it the most is I'm able to contribute to the community. We're able to hire local people that help build these planes, but even more, I love when I'm able to take a child up for the first time in a plane ride that they've never been able to see and think that, you know, most people have never been on commercial airlines, so when you get to take them into a smaller airplane and fly them around the city they live in, their face just lights up, and sometimes we give them the controls while we're up in the air and let them fly the plane a little bit, it just brings a joy to their face. But you know, just being able to give people the opportunity and learn more about general aviation and that you can just get in your plane and you can fly. Uh, yesterday I went to the coast, I went to the, the Hamptons, Virginia just to do a quick errand and I came right back and it took me less than an hour. So that's what we love about general aviation. We want more people in it, mm -hmm. we want more people learning about it and we definitely want to you know, in, encourage the new generation, the kids to get into aviation, whether they're pilots like myself or they're mechanics where they can build the planes. Absolutely. And Max, I got to ask you your advice for fellow entrepreneurs or someone who's aspiring. I mean, I'm inspired just listening to you, but how would you <laughs> recommend people to kind of get off their feet and start something new? Well, before I do that, I definitely want to have you come out and take a ride oh, in the plane one day. So you. whenever you're free, let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely got to do that. But as far as as far as you know, entrepreneurship. I, people may have seen where I am today, but I had a lot of failures. I had about 11 or 12 failed businesses. And the thing about entrepreneurship is that every time you fail, you're supposed to learn a lesson. But you never actually fail until you give up. And so mm -hmm. every time I failed, I learned something new. I was able to carry that to the next business and now we're in Winston-Salem between our companies we have about 30 employees all together and it's just a joy to be able to help people prosper in their personal life and be able to hire people to be able to come out and do things that they actually enjoy doing. Wow Max thank you I really enjoyed speaking with you I will take you up on that offer and ride on one of those planes with you thanks for joining us on the local vibe and for showing us around and folks at home you can find more information on all of Max's endeavors at therealmaxwell.com that website is on your screen now let's get a check of our news headlines now at 934 with Christina Evans